Okay, folks, so what's going to happen is I'm going to put some rap metal on my channel a lot more than what I've been doing. We're definitely going to get some more reviews. But this is kind of a bit of inquiring as far as what happened to the genre. So back in 2002, I think a lot of people were flying the coop just because they were just playing, moving on to bigger and supposedly better things like Papa Roach and uh, I'm trying to think of who else, Lincoln Park and you know there's various other cats, Saliva, Godsmack, and all these cats that were doing it in 2000, 2001. They may have kind of done it, did it in 2002, but a lot of differences were made between about summer of 2002 and 2004, which it just felt like, I'm not sure how many rap metal albums came out in 2004, but I really haven't been able to find any. And, you know, it kind of left you with the question as to say, what are you going to support these artists after your theme is still there? And, you know, as far as I wasn't there to do it back in 1999 and 2003, but as I worry about this now the kind of question is is whether or not I'm still gonna wind up liking them and I'm not so sure I'm hoping that that's the case but you know opening your ears to various other formats it's just not an easy thing to do and my question is you know what I, what I was just kind of concerned with was why exactly did rap metal implode you know that that's how did it happen? What was the whole thing about it? And, you know, obviously it's not so much a question to the public as much as it is, you know, what is your opinion? And my opinion is that the reason why was because it never really produced a lot of radio songs. And it seems as if, you know, the style was a little bit too abrasive for a lot of folks. It was just too noisy, and it wasn't exactly what people wanted. I don't know how it translated with the female audience. I'm thinking, you know, you'd be surprised at who really is a, no a noisy person deep down. But the thing is, is that, you know, when you're in the car listening to the radio or whatever, what do you want to hear on the air? And I think really... That is something that is just kind of, I mean, radio is a certain way, and it's just one particular way, and what that is, is it's it usually has to have an attitude that shapes a person, and but is relatable at the same time. So it's thinking, you know, I like this, but I also think that this is tacky. And I have standards. These are normal things that appear in a radio song to kind of keep the momentum as it, you know, dominates our earwaves. And, you know, it happened in the 70s, happened in the 80s. But, you know, the question is, is whether or not you like that style. Because, you know, when I listen to music, it's normally not the song that was the most popular. That is my favorite. Obviously, if it wasn't on the billboard or wherever, a shit ton, but, you know, you hear the song, like with Kid Rock's Devil Without a Cause, you know, they play the song Cowboy a lot, but that's not actually the best song. I think, you know, Ball with the Ball is a lot better, and there's tons of records on that release that overshadow that completely, but, you know, you have to convince people to buy so it, I mean it is it's just very very eerie trying to reach a crowd that is aloof to something that's actually not that harmful and I just wonder what you, your guys's you know thoughts are on this sort of thing because to me it it just is disappointing but also it's also kind of a new journey of sorts just because I'm able to decide for myself if I'm going to continue to support these people, which, you know, I don't know the percentage of the chance, but I'm hoping it's a high one.